All right, so the first thing we got to do is we got to take our all of our grill grates out. do this mod right here for the temp for the uh, probes what this is is a smoker grommet kit and a lot of people put them like right here and stuff but see this hole right here this is if you wanted this is the cap for it and this is if you wanted to make it a traditional offset what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna drill the holes in here and put the grommets in here and run my probes through here. So let's get to it. So first thing I'm gonna do is I've got them lined up on the inside and I'm gonna mark my holes on the inside first. Just like that. See the two marks and then I'm going to drill the first little hole through there first and then turn it around and that should help me make a clean hole. All right, what I did was I put two little pilot holes through this side and now I've got my bigger bit and we're going to hollow these out where they're supposed to be. All right, I always use a little bit of oil for cutting. Saves your bit. Alrighty, so we got that done. Got the hose drilled, got it cleaned up. Uh, next step, I'm going to put some R black RTV sealant in the channels of those just to make sure I get a double seal. See how hard am I going to be to press in there? Oh, it's going to be nothing. So, put it in the channel and then. Wipe it off. Clean. Once we get it in there. Damn, like that. Get a paper towel. Now, we're going to go around the edge of this. We're going to seal this smoker off. Just put it in there like that. Push it in there. Okay. 
tighten her up. So now I have two probe holes for my probes to go in through this instead of trying to drill through my smoke chamber. Heck yeah. So another mod that I have is the barbecue sm uh, smoker mods dot com tuning plate i've already installed these on both sides and it comes with bolts to bolt these together but i'm not even going to bolt this to the the smoker i want to be able to take all this off whenever i feel like it um mine's got the lip on the inside which i'll show you in a minute but i'm going to have to take this for right here off all the way across probably for it to uh, slide up under that lip so anyways and then I got some uh, some of this to go around the smoke door smoke box door let's get to it all right so the first thing we got to do is we got to take our all of our grill grates out We're not going to be using the tuning plates anymore. We're going to be using the BBQ Smoker Mod tuning plate. I mean, I might do a comparison later on with these just to see what kind of difference I get. The reason why I'm doing away with these is because the grate lays, I mean, the grate pretty much lays on top of this, and you can see the depth. This is right on top of the fire, and it's right on top of the grate, so I feel like it might uh, get a little too hot underneath whatever I'm trying to cook and uh, cause a hot spot. All right, so I'm going to put this, uh, this first plate in, and I got to try to figure out how much I need to cut off of it. For it to fit in there good and I'm gonna get my level to make sure that's level in there so and I'll give y'all a close-up of that right here in a second all right right here's a close-up but as you can see there's a lip right here that's attached to that so I've got to cut that much off um, for this top to slide underneath that lip there And as you can see, that's how it's supposed to be in there. And then the second piece will go in here and slide up under it. Or you could probably put it on top, depending on however you feel like doing it. So let's get to measuring this thing and bring it out and we'll film me cutting it. So this is how I'm going to measure this. I tried doing this and all that other stuff, but it was becoming too much of a headache. And these, they have these already installed for your grates. And this right here, your grate's supposed to lay on that one in there. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put a grate on here and look at it. And you can see... What I'm going to have to do is I'm going to leave this grate on here and I'm going to move this thing right here to where I feel like it's even. And then I'm going to take something and I'm just going to mark all the way across the grate for a straight line and then cut that section off. All right, I switched over to a Sawzall with a metal blade on it. See if this uh, works out a little bit better. Yeah. 
Yes, a lot better. Now, I'll take a cutting wheel and just smooth this stuff out a little bit. That battery's done. Okay, I got it cut down just a little bit more. Looks pretty perfect to me. Now it's slid back. So let's install the other one right here. Perfect. Alrighty, be right back. Also got the Water pan goes right up to it like that. So let's see how our grates fit in here. Perfect. And now you can see that how lower this one goes uh, compared to the other one. So, heck yeah. So, now I'm able to put a water pan under here to keep all my cooking space on here. So, heck yeah. On to the next mod. All right, the next mod I'm gonna do is some of this around the edges. So let me go get some alcohol and clean them edges up. Just regular old brake cleaner. You don't wanna spray this on it. Just spray it on a rag. And then go over it. around the edges and that's all you have to do how I do this is I don't peel it off all at once I'll peel it talking about the, the gasket here I'll peel it off the white get it started Go ahead and get it started here. Bump it right up to the edge. And then make sure to keep it in the edge and kind of pull the white off as I go. Go slow with it. It really ain't easy to rush because it ain't like adhesive is going to dry that quick or anything. And again, I went with black. I thought the gray wouldn't look good. I got some white for the firebox lid, but I'm not real sure I'm even going to put that on it. I might end up having to. I just don't like it. Just 
just like that. Alrighty, I've already done the top and the bottom. So now I'm gonna go ahead and do the sides. And it's just pretty much the same way. What I do is I peel it back like this, just enough to get it started. And I butt it right up against the other gasket. Start working it down that way I know I got it in the grooves. Just pull that white adhesive cover down as you go. Just like that. And I'll show you a close up edge. The edge. Just like that. Alrighty, I'm going to do the other side. We'll get back on it. So, right here's the black ones I was talking about. And what I've done so far is I've placed them up here, got them pretty straight, and I've took my pencil and I've kind of marked out all the holes. And uh, we're about to start drilling. So what I did for a hole punch, I just, I found a screw, a hammer, and I just kind of put it on the hole or where I want to drill, tap it. Maybe that'll keep my drill where I want it. Uh, so what I did was I just used a regular drill bit. Made me a little indention. Drill bit that wasn't going to run all over the place. Because I don't have a hole punch. So now, yeah, there we go. How big I need to make my holes.
Let's see if these will fit through there. going to get these started.
All right, so I'm gonna get these tightened up. Looks like they're on there straight. This one. And I'm going to seal the bottom of these so there's no leakage. I'm probably going to paint these screws black with a little paintbrush. Let's close it down. I don't like where it's at. a little too far stay a little off Still a little off. It's all about adjustment. The way it locks in without. There we go. Oh yeah, let's sealed it. Still think it might be might need to do this a little bit more. I sealed it up. So if any, if there is any leaks out of the door here, after a few cooks, it definitely will seal itself. So I'm gonna do the same side as I did this one, and I'll get back to you after I'm done. Alrighty, there's there they are. <clears throat> Clamps are installed. So the mods we did. Drill two holes in this for the probes because I plan on running four probes, two through each hole. The uh, water pan gasket, the barbecue, uh, barbecue smoker mods.com tuner plate and water pan. Got that modified and installed. The gaskets around the door.
and the clamps. So I believe that's all we're going to be doing for right now. If I have to put a gasket around that, then so be it. Which I probably will end up having to. I just don't want to have to put a clamp on that. You know? But uh, I'm pretty sure that we probably still will have leaks a little bit around the door once I do my first burn in. <clears throat> but after a few cooks, that should seal itself up. Alrighty.